This video is about making a primitive rope from a young fur. This rope is called Vitsa. Admittedly, such fur rope is less flexible than traditional rope, and it will be harder to tie into a knot, but it only takes a few minutes to make such rope. In addition, this DIY rope has a number of unexpected uses that I'll tell you about in a minute. Here, I'm using a trunk of a young fir, but you can also use a trunk of a young birch or a long branch from a willow tree. Such ropes were used by raftsmen to tie logs into rafts. You can see how I'm using it. I made a cut at the bottom side of the fur. We will fix the bottom side of the fur trunk to our improvised tummy bar with a small piece of string looping it through the cut and wrapping it around to make a cross-shaped joint. As both sides of the fur are secured, we can start making our rope by twisting the tummy bar and wrapping it around the stump. As we are twisting the fur trunk, we are separating the grain fibers from each other without tearing them. Usually, Vitsa ropes are made from a fur trunk 3 to 4 meters long and about 3 to 5 cm thick. You can make it thicker, but it's going to be quite a workout. And a few final thoughts. You can experiment with dried out bundles of Vitsa with epoxy resin and luminescent pigments to make sculptural decorations. The glue up can be sliced and used to decorate a tabletop, for example. I'm sure such a tabletop decorations can easily become a conversation starter. You can also try to make a table's legs from Vitsa, or use it as a decor element in your house. The rope will hold any shape when dried and can even be stabilized with epoxy resin. Perhaps you can make the resin glow from inside of your partially cracked rope. I think any woodworker can come up with some original ideas on how to use Vitsa in their furniture making or decoration projects. Now I am over twisting the rope, which will keep the bundle together for storage. You can keep this bundle dried for years. When you need the rope, just soak it in water overnight. I'm using a cone-shaped stump for winding the wood in the rope. You can use a regular tree. However, it's easier to take the produced rope off of a cone-shaped stump. If you liked the video, perhaps you could share it with your friends. Let good people watch good videos. This is Maxi Gorov.